Hey guys, today we get to look at Ravnica Allegiance Mythic Edition. Now, before I go on to a massive rant on this, it's $249.99 on their eBay store. Their actual Hasbro store could not take the traffic and it absolutely failed. So whoever their web developer is should be absolutely embarrassed and ashamed of themselves that their e-commerce store, that they have to pay eBay a fee for something like this when they could have just fixed some easy code and made all the money. Now, this is a unabashed cash grab. I don't know how I feel about this type of news. It makes me doubt that we won't see a master set. Previously, Wizard of Coast said we're not going to see a master set for some time. But honestly, I thought we were not going to see masterpieces for some time. It looks like every single set will now have one of these. And you buy them directly from Wizards of the Coast, not from a Magic Fest. So Magic Fest was a channel fireball event where you could buy two copies of it per person but you had to be in that city at that GP to do so. Here, you can order on eBay, and it makes it a lot easier for international shipping. So if you're international, you can order it, pay some shipping, and now you can get it when your previous options were just to go to a Magic Fest or hopefully have a friend send you one from a Magic Fest. So let's talk about what this means for the game. It's fascinating what is going on. So here we have Khan, Scion of Urza. We have Tamiyo. $249.99 contains 24 packs, eight of which will come with one Planeswalker inside, plus the normal rare or mythic rare card. So you're guaranteed these eight cards. Each... So there's no randomness. You will get each of the eight. I don't believe this is a good way to make money. What it does is it does isolate the haves and the have-nots in even more segmented way. So the masterpieces themselves, in my opinion, were not a good concept. They are the definition of a lottery ticket. Now, the problem with a lottery ticket is you have winners and losers, but someone who buys just a pack, they could win as well. So it's a little bit more fair because there is an opportunity. Here, the only way you can get it is you paying $250 and or you buy singles. And at that point, you are subjugated to the secondary market, which is not very friendly for this type of card. So do I think these cards are beautiful? I do. I truly think that the Tamiyo is gorgeous looking, but I'm not going to support this. Uh, I cannot. So it reminds me of a mobile game. I play a lot of mobile games, and when a mobile game is ready to fail, the first sign that you know is the developers are making cash grabs left and right, and they're very lazy cash grabs. This strikes me as uh, incredibly lazy, and a ultimate cash grab. So no one's going to buy just one of these. You're going to buy two. So that's $500 plus shipping. $500 can buy you a lot. Uh, $250 can buy you a lot. And just like the article says, everyone has them. And if you are not wealthy enough or you don't have the money to spend on this, you will be left out. This is the new booster box. It used to be you bought a booster box from your local game store. You'd get your 36 packs, your hopefully a buy a box promo if your game store is nice. And it would you pay a hundred bucks and you would open a booster box every new set. So many players I know do that. But now they're gonna order online and that's their booster. They're they're not gonna spend they're not gonna pay two fifty for this product and then pay another $100 for a booster box. That's not going to happen. So 
Do I think this type of card is a good concept? You got a Johnny. I don't know. Time will tell, but I can tell you it is a absolute cash grab. There will be plen plenty of content creators who support this. I have seen enough games to know when something is getting out of control. And the price point that you... Uh, the argument that new players don't need this. Casual players don't need this. No one needs this. This is just something nice. But when you have a lot of nice things and you are saying that, hey, you can't afford these nice things, they're not for you. At least for the lottery expeditions and the masterpieces that way, you could get really lucky, like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, buy that one chocolate bar and have a golden ticket. There's no luck here. There's only money. And that is significantly different. Now, I don't like the lottery system, and I would prefer a system like this where you know that the expected value. I don't know why you need to put all eight. I don't know need I don't think that's necessary. I think you can sell 24 packs of one of them for whatever 24 packs cost or slightly above that, and then have it be random. I think it also devalues the mythics in the set when you have these plain walkers like Domri and Kyla and a better version of them. Guaranteed. Right? You get for 24. I keep saying twenty four ninety nine because it's so unreal for me to say two hundred and forty nine ninety nine for two hundred and fifty dollars. You get eight guaranteed planeswalkers. You order one for your business. You order two at your business, two at home, and now you got a playset of the planeswalkers. Are you really going to open packs anymore? Uh, Dak Fodden is a good one. I'm. I don't know how I feel about this. It obviously favors the wealthy. And I don't agree with that. I absolutely do not agree with that because the survival of this game is going to be based on people who can't afford this product. And you can tell me a million times that they don't need to buy it, they don't need to buy it, they don't need to buy it, but they want to buy it. It's a want, not a need. Magic is always a want. But when you have products like this, time and time again, you are segmenting the population into the haves and the have-nots even more than before. And I think that's very dangerous to do in your card game. Like, I... Pokemon, for instance, you can get a promo version of the best cards, or even Yu-Gi-Oh! But it doesn't cost 20... It doesn't cost two hundred and forty nine ninety nine to get, like, that promo version. The most expensive promo I know of is the Tapu Lele in Pokemon. And the box that you're guaranteed a Tapu Lele, another Tapu something something is only 50 bucks retail gamestop retail full re on retail that is ridiculous to see this price point so someone could theoretically save up and then buy that you can't 250 is too much especially if you need four of them if you need them to match in your ocd like i am it's terrible this is not a good product I was thinking of not making this video, uh, but I'm going to post this video very late at night. I actually have to get a, up at work at 6 to drive to the middle of nowhere, Texas, from the middle of nowhere, Texas. So that's always a great drive. I'm going to stop by the Bucky's, of course. Uh, so it's pretty much on the way to Austin. I didn't want to make this video, but I'm going to real talk to you. Supporting something like this, you shouldn't do it. No matter how many content creators say this is wow, and I'm so wowed, and this is amazing, and hopefully this help pay, helps pay my health insurance. I mean, no matter how many content creators buy these out, continuously spend your Patreon dollars to buy this, Weds, this is not a good idea. You have the haves, and you have the have-nots, and you can now tell who's who. It's sad, and I. this is a type of cash grab you only see when a company is not doing financially well. 
Otherwise, there's no need to destroy your expected value on your Mythic Planeswalkers, which are no longer exciting to pull because there is a better one. There's a better version that if you have enough money, you're guaranteed. So why risk pulling the regular version, which is worse in many ways? It doesn't make sense to me why they would do this. Um, I'm very appalled by their look as someone who can i just opened 800 dollars of pokemon 800 dollars of pokemon and it doesn't even it's a drop in a bucket the difference between doing that and opening one of these is that those pokemon cards you can buy four dollars five dollars 13 15 here the buy-in is so much higher. And by having a higher buy-in, you are limiting the amount of product you can sell and you're limiting the amount of people who can buy the said product. Overall, I think it's a terrible concept. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Spending $250 on something, no matter how awesome that something is or how amazing the secondary value might be, It's too much. That's the price of an Xbox with a game. That's the price of a new Xbox with a game. It's the price of a Nintendo Switch with a game. And you still need four of these. That's just sickening. It, it sickens me a tiny bit. Anyway, hi guys.